Hey guys, Nick here again from Click and Droid, and today I have an update on the ROM, which is Handler 1.5. So this ROM, a lot have been fixed, and a lot of things have been added. So the first thing that's been fixed is Metamorph. So now you can flash themes and apply different themes without having to put any fixes or not use Handler's ROM at all. So if you're a big themer, you can now use this ROM and flash themes. Next thing is that there's now 50 more megs of room free on your system partition. So before, I used to only have about 98 megs of space free. But now with Handler 1.5, as you see right there, I have 145 megs of free space. So that's a huge difference from Handler 1.4 to Handler 1.5 in space. I'm not sure how we did that, but it's great. Also, now the FM radio works. So if you want to listen to FM radio, the app now works without any errors. So you have to plug your headset in, obviously. Forgot to do that. But right there, it's loading up. And there you go. You can listen to the headphones, or you can put it on a loudspeaker. There you have it. So the FM radio works. A bug that I've noticed is that when you go to the marketplace, and you go to your downloads, and you hit the menu button, at the bottom there you'll see a little notifications button, and when you click it, you just get a forced close. So I'm not sure why that's there or what's causing that problem, but that's something that probably could be fixed with a small update. Next thing is that in this ROM, Handler added the Terminal Emulator app, so you don't have to install it from the market anymore if you use Terminal, terminal Emulator. You could just open it up because it's included in the ROM. Next thing is that the camera is fixed. So instead of keeping the old Click XT camera, he reverted back to the old Click camera. So you can now zoom in and out with the different buttons, as you see there. So the camera's back to normal, and it all works. So right now, AppsSD is in beta. So if you want to use AppsSD, you can try that out on this ROM. I'm not sure if it's working right yet. I've seen some posts on his ROM post on Mod My Moto that people have failed at getting it to work. But expect sometime in the future that it will be supported on Handler's ROM. So that's about it for this ROM review. In the future, expect things like multi-touch and being able to turn auto-rotate off in settings. So if you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll have a link to everything in the sidebar. Thanks for watching.